that morning if I wouldn't say, let's go that side of the, you know, the forest, maybe that this wouldn't happen. You know, for a whole month I couldn't, you know, when you sleep and you just, you have nightmares about it. You think about it and you're like, what if I could have said, hey, you know, let's just go home that night. Maybe this wouldn't happen. I held my gun out in front of me, believing that he was going to shoot at me. I said, don't you shoot at me, you son of a bitch. The trial begins for a Minnesota man accused in the Wisconsin hunting rampage killings. There are six counts of first-degree intentional homicide with use of a dangerous weapon. Were racial slurs used? Was Chai Vang threatened by the hunting party? And did anyone in that hunting party that confronted Chai Vang actually fire their own weapons? How did this thing turn into a war? Did they fire a shot at him? Was that true? Did he feel, did they fire a warning shot? Something had to have happened to make him snap into this war mode. Do you know you are trespassing the 400 acres of land, you dang goop? If you're fucking Asian, come and keep coming to my land, I'm gonna kick your fucking Asian ass. throughout the morning hearing some radio traffic about who is in the tree stand. I heard one gunshot and I heard three shots follow that. It was pretty fast shots. It was kind of like, you know, like automatic boom, 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 boom. I remember hearing, you know, get guns and come down here and help people out. And after that I heard from five to six shots, like automatic, and I was like, wow. And after that I heard, I heard help. A guy saying, help, help me, help me, you know? I started hearing some uh, radio traffic. There had been some information coming in that uh, uh, there had been a hunting accident or shooting accident. It became apparent in real short order that it was not a hunting a accident. A couple guys that are shot back there, Russian car 911, which emergency said there's like four or five people dead in the woods. Some kind of like crazy just shot. I was here in um, Minneapolis, and then um, his wife called, you know, and I answered the phone. She said, um, they got him. You know? And I go, who got him? He goes, the police got him. I go, what do you mean? He go, they say he shot some people. And I go, no, he can't, you know. Drew, I've got a suspect vehicle and suspect information okay. if you'd like to broadcast that. Go ahead. The name will be Chai Vang. Okay. He's from St. Paul. Uh -huh. He is a male, height 5'4", uh -huh. weights 145, black hair, brown eyes. He believes he might be like a Hmong, um, so if you have any contact with a certain Hmong, hold him until we can identify what's going on. I got a phone call from my oldest sister, Mai, and she said, chill. Our life's over. Our family's over. You know? And then I ask her, what are you talking about? And she go, look on the news. It's all over the place. Gun down. Police say an eruption of rage triggered the shootings. The St. Paul man Chai Vang accused of opening fire in the northwestern part of the state. Police say he was a disgruntled hunter who was being told to get off some private land. Carter looked at my cousin and I and said, they're all dead. They're all old. And uh, I asked him who, and he said, uh, Joe, Bob, and your dad. And I asked him, you know, my dad's dead, are you sure? And he said, yeah, I'm sure. 